Hey guys, this is Ice Flare, and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, I'm going to be doing another episode of my character analysis series. This episode is going to be on Super Brains, so let's get into it. To start off, Super Brains is a melee character, meaning that he excels at close range, while he also has a primary that can shoot, or a secondary, sorry, that can shoot long range when you zoom in. The way you're going to want to use him, and I'll show a clip on screen right now, you're going to want to use a method with the kick that I'll show how to do in a second later on in the video to get into the zone. Use your punching, make sure to get all up close to the enemies and try to strafe around them. I'll teach you how to do that in a second. Uh, as well so yeah strafe around the enemies and then when you start to get low you can either use your turbo twister which reduces damage and also does damage at the same time or you can kick away using the same method that i'll show in a second and while you're waiting to heal up you can either just heal up and snipe with your beam or you can use your fireball if you haven't used that already individual tips on each of the abilities the fireball super ultra ball sorry i've been calling it fireball super ultra ball you can actually jump into the air and use it and it'll stall you while you're in the air so if you need extra air time that's a good way to use it or just to get a height adv height advantage that works as well the turbo twister not many people use it I'm going to admit it's not the best ability either. It slightly increases your movement speed, it decreases the damage you take, and it also deals damage. There's not really a good situation for it. I would just try to stay away from it as much as possible, but maybe someone could find a good way to use it. And now with the kick ability, this is gonna what I'm going to show you right now. So there's a really cool way to get around really quickly. So you take your finger off both of the joysticks, so you don't touch the joysticks at all. You use the kick ability, and then you spam jump without touching any of the joysticks. So you just spam jump, and you go really fast. So you can use that to get in and away from combat if you ever really need to. Some tips for super brains in general. Uh, Super Rains is really good if you can melee strafe, where basically all that means is just your punching while also running in a circle around the enemy. You can also throw in some jumps in there to make yourself even harder to get if you master the art of normal strafing. And this just makes it really difficult for you to be hit while also hitting other enemies. Many people don't know this, but Super Brain's fists actually have splash damage, so you can actually hit multiple enemies with the same punch, and it's actually pretty useful. Something else a lot of people don't know is that the punches get deal increasingly more damage as you go up in the combo. So like the first punch, there's three in a combo and they progressively deal more damage. I'll show you in a second on one of these weeds. See, as you saw, it was like 15, 25, and 45, I believe. You can slow that down if you want. So yeah, anyways, that's that. Finally, Super Brains has 200 health at the max, so be very aggressive. Super Brains is one of the characters that you can be very, very aggressive with, and that's what he's intended to be. Cosmic Brains has a unique ability where you can charge down, charge up his fists and then release it. And the longer you charge it, the more damage it deals. Also, with a max charge, you have a chance to um, basically just insta-kill an enemy and they are unrevivable, so nobody can revive them. It's pretty neat. Uh, Breakfast Brains, if you hold down the punch button, he actually does like really fast punches, but it does overheat. So keep that in mind.